All right, this is a quick video on the OWC Envoy Express that has blue, uh, sorry, Thunderbolt 3, um, along with the WD Black SN770 NVMe SSD. I got a two terabyte version here. I'm upgrading my, uh, my iMac. And um, yeah, so we're gonna use this as a external boot drive for this. So all you have to do, it comes with a nice, um, uh, little mini screwdriver or Phillips head driver thing. Flip it over, take out the two screws just like so. And then I'm going to open it up. It comes off very easily. It's just like this. It's a little hard to do it one-handed. Let's see if I can flip it over. Let's see if we can do this at another angle here. I figured it out to remove it. You just have to slide it slightly over to the right as you're taking it out. So, um, take off the cover, the left side kind of stuck, just kind of slide it up toward the, uh, the side with the um, cord on it, and it'll come out just like so. If you open it up here, what you'll see is that you'll have, um, this is a little sticky pad thingy, and you're gonna plug the chip right into there. If I have it here, so we're gonna simply slide it right into this slot, make sure the pins are the correct direction. Um, and also that the end is on the, the correct side here. So you can see the end is where, is where the screw is gonna go on that side. Uh, I'm gonna slide it right in. See if I can do this one-handed here. Being very careful not to hurt anything or break anything. There we go, boom. Ah, so now what happens is I gotta, I think I need to uh, screw that down. So I have to unscrew this and then screw it down on top of it. I have is here, so we're gonna simply slide it right into this slot, make sure the pins are the correct direction, um, and also that the end is on the, the correct side here. So you can see the end is where, is where the screw is gonna go on that side. Uh, I'm gonna slide it right in, see if I can do this one-handed here. Being very careful not to hurt anything or break anything. There we go, boom. Ah, so now what happens is I gotta, I think I need to uh, screw that down. So I have to unscrew this and then screw it down on top of it. All right, so for the sake of this quick video, I'm just going to balance it on top of my cup here. So unscrew this little screw, or Phillips screw head here, just to get that out, like so. Alrighty, oops, it fell out. Then after you insert this, you're gonna kind of just bend it down, put the screw on top. And it basically holds it down. Oops, come on. Oh, it might be magnetic. Oops, oh pooey. Let's see if I can do this. It is magnetic, or at least it got magnetized. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is probably frustrating to watch here, but I can, I'll eventually get it here, folks. This is not the, there we go. I'm not the best at screwing this thing in, but my first time installing one of these types of drives. All right, so from there, we can slide this back on, clamp this down, and then take the previous two screws and reattach the base. It's very convenient that it comes with one of these um, little Phillips head drivers. I, uh, sometimes they don't. And then you have to have, I mean, it's always good to have a set of like these micro screw things. Uh, but anyway, ah, there we go. So now it's all set up. Now this end will go into the Thunderbolt 3 port on your uh, Mac. You just plug it right into a Thunderbolt 3 port on the computer and you can already set it up. So I'm gonna shut down my computer and to start it up in internet recovery mode, which uh, I probably recommend, especially if you're not, if you, so I've been, come, I've been using a, another SSD uh, set up with one of the older style two and a half inch drives. And so the, the I don't use the Mac OS partition on the built-in drive. Uh, so it's an older version of Mac OS. So especially in a case like that, I suggest using the internet recovery partition to set up the uh, system on the new computer. Uh, or sorry, to set up the system on the new SSD. So in order to do that, what you're gonna do is turn on the computer and hold down command option R, and that'll take you into recovery online mode, internet recovery mode. So I'm holding down command option R on the computer as I'm turning it on again, and we should be booting up into uh, internet recovery mode. From there, you can set up 
uh, and reinstall a new version of, there we go, see it's starting internet recovery. Choose a network, but mine's already plugged into ethernet so it's probably okay. It might work even if you're on a Wi-Fi, I'm not sure, you might have to choose one in that case, I'm not 100% sure. I have it hooked up by Wi-Fi and ethernet. Um, so from here you can just set up Mac OS as you would, um, and then either use Migration Assistant, uh, during the setup process or afterward, or just manually drag and drop files and stuff in, up to you on how you set it up. But uh, that's a quick setup on how to do this. So what's gonna happen is when it sh comes up, you're gonna see that new drive. Um, and so you can just choose to have it installed right onto there. All done. If you don't use the uh, default mouse um, or trackpad or keyboard that Apple comes with, you're gonna have to at least use a wired mouse in that case. So in this, uh, in this instance, how we're going to do it is we're going to um, reinstall Mac OS Monterey. Um, or you can, uh, you can either reinstall if you're going to install, install from scratch, or you can go um, restore from Time Machine if you want to back up from a system that you want to restore. I recently did this, so I recently set up a new system from scratch. I probably will go restore from Time Machine. Uh, and just copy stuff straight over. So I'm gonna go restore from Time Machine, go to continue, continue. That's gonna search for Time Machine backups that I have here on my computer. And here is my Time Machine, it's under called Time Machine. So I'm gonna go continue. That's gonna look up for Mac OS system backups and hopefully it'll show up. We shall see. Ta-da, here we go. So this is the one I just did a few minutes ago, um, 7.33 p.m. on August 28th. I'm going to continue. You must use Migration Assistant to transfer data from this backup. Reinstall Mac OS if necessary, and then use Migration Assistant to transfer data from your backup. Okay, so we're gonna install Mac OS. So we have to do that first, I suppose. I guess we can't go straight to the thing because I don't have it, 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 it set up yet. So we'll go here, go through. Now let me show you how you can choose the new drive. Do, 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 Okay, so I'm going to put it on which one? Ah, it's not showing up. Okay, so in this case, what we have to do is we have to first format the disk. So what we're going to do is go back and back. I'm actually not going to go here. We're going to quit install Mac OS at the top. So we're going to quit. Go back here and go to disk utility. All right, so we have to set this thing up first. Well, we're kind of going backwards here, but we're getting to where we need to be. So here is the new disk drive that I just installed, WD Black SN7, 72 terabytes. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna format this sucker to make it work with the, um, to make it work with the, the computer. So we're gonna go to erase. Make sure you're selecting the right one. You don't wanna accidentally erase the wrong one. That would, that would be not pleasant for, for you. So I'm gonna erase WD Black SN77. I'm gonna call this Macintosh HD, which is the name of the, okay, uh, what I wanna call it. We're gonna make this APFS and GID partition map should be okay. We're gonna erase it. Now it's gonna erase it. Do, 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 do. All done. And click done. Now if we go out, we should be able to go to install macOS Monterey and it should show up that we can, we can do the thing this time. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, so now if we go over here, it'll show the new one. So, so we, have all, we have the extra one here. So make sure it's the right one. So this is the one I'm gonna be coming from going to. I'm going to a two gigabyte one here. Um, in this case, this is a faster uh, thing than this one is. Um, so I'm gonna make sure it's the correct one, the two gigabyte one, which is correct in my case, and now it's going to install. Now, after that, we can use Migration Assistant once we go into the system to move the files over, or, um, so, so basically, what you can do is, option one is if you wanna move files over from a time machine back, you can install this, um, and what, or at least here's two, op two possible options at least. One is, uh, once you finish, once this process finishes, log into your computer, um, and then type in Migration Assistant in Spotlight, open up that program and then move the stuff over from a time machine backup. Or two, 
you can go into the system um, and then just open up your time machine folder uh, in your, your drive and then just copy over the, the files you want and then uh, you know all that good stuff, reinstall the software, things like that. 